I wanted to take just a minute to give you my reaction to the new Blue Eddy Pioneer NA Sodium Ion Power Station. This isn't a review, it's a reaction. There are several reviews online, so you can check those out, but what you will find in all of them are these basic results. It's a decent power station with dated solar and DC output capability. The battery capacity, weight, and inverted capability is not amazing. Now before you post a flaming comment below, let me acknowledge that this is groundbreaking technology. This is the very first sodium ion battery powered solar generator. I understand that this battery technology is not as efficient or power dense as a LifePo 4 battery. I believe specs on this battery are probably pretty good for its size. I also understand that salt batteries are more stable and safer than lithium batteries, and it can charge in freezing temps, though testing has shown the colder it gets, the slower it charges. But salt is also easier to mine and more abundant, meaning the battery material should be cheaper than lithium batteries. Hold on to that thought. So what happened here? We have an AC180 form factor with limited USB-C outputs, a DC7909 solar input limited to 60 volts and 500 watts. None of those limitations have anything to do with a sodium battery. This is the same form factor, same solar input, maybe even the same MPPT controller from 2023 when the AC180 was released. It feels like it took a while to make this groundbreaking power station ready for release. Some reviewers have actually said that they even heard about it a couple of years ago, so that tracks. So why don't I cut them a break? I mean, they are innovating. By releasing this power station, they will move this technology more into the mainstream. This step will hopefully push others to make similar products with similar battery technology. I was actually excited to see this product come out until I saw the price. $800 for a 1500 watt, 900 watt hour power station. Salt should be cheaper, not more expensive. I get we're recouping some of the research costs, but $800? Well, I mean, just look at what else $800 would buy at Blue Eddy. How about the AC200L with two kilowatt hours of battery, 2,400 watts of inverter, not to mention 1,200 watts of solar input, and more outputs and more plug types? Or just even look at the AC180, which this is based off of. Same ports, same MPPT controller, same solar input, but 1800 watts and 1152 watt hours for $500. The same basic capability with more inverter, more battery for $300 less. Now I understand that you can't put 1152 watt hours of sodium battery into the same space as a lithium iron battery. That's power density and all that stuff, how it comes into play. And honestly, if the Pioneer NA was priced at $500, I would probably be telling you it was worth it because of the innovation but not at $800. This is the issue. This price is ridiculous. I believe it's the highest price per watt hour product that Blue Eddy is currently selling. I don't know if you remember this or if you were following it when Apple first released the Vision goggle thing. It was very cool, could do a lot of stuff, pushed technology, pushed innovation, but most people are not gonna spend over $3,000 for those things. That's what this reminds me of. It's a glimpse of what could be safer power, able to be used in colder temperatures, and it proves that you can make a sodium ion battery powered power station. But I don't think this is gonna be a commercial success, not at this price. It's just too expensive for what you get. The promise of salt batteries was safe and cheap. And we're still waiting on the cheap. So here's hoping that the next model is based on a more current power station and is priced more aggressively. What do you think? Is the Pioneer NA worth $800? Would you buy one if it was cheaper? Is sodium ion the future of battery technology? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.